Okay guys, today we are working on a 2010 Volkswagen Jetta. Uh, I believe there's a 2.5 liter engine. Um, the customer complaint is a check engine light. So let me take you to the scan tool, see what kind of trouble codes we have. And what we have stored is a P2433 secondary air injection system flow pressure sensor, bank one, short two plus. is a secondary pressure sensor that monitors the flow um, when the secondary air pump is turned on. I believe it actually monitors pressure. It's, it's very similar to a MAP sensor. But uh, I, I believe it monitors pressure when uh, the combination valve is closed, pressure is increased. And then when the combination valve opens and allows the flow into the exhaust, obviously the pressure in the hose would change. And that is how the computer monitors the secondary air flow by the pressure changes in the hose. I'm going to go through. I don't think there are any data PIDs that we can look at, but I'm just going to check real quick. Okay, so apparently on this, data items are not supported. I'm pretty confident even if they were there wouldn't be a secondary air monitor. So what I want to do, go out maybe take a visual at this pressure sensor and take some voltage readings. Go from there. So this is our wiring diagram for our G609 which is our secondary air pressure sensor. Pin number four, violet and blue wire goes up to J623 which is our ECM and that looks to be like our signal wire. Okay, so usually brown is ground. This pin one, if you go to track 134, that is shared with other sensors. And this D103 right here, D103 is a connection in the engine compartment and that is shared with other sensors. Go back to this one. This 143 also shared with other sensors. So one of those is the 5 volt reference. The other one is a ground D101. It just says that it's a connection in the engine harness. So, oh, right there. 5 volt. So this D101 is our 5 volt reference. So it looks like pin three is a black and gray. It's gonna be our five volt reference. Pin one's a brown, is gonna be our ground. So do some voltage checks. Um, let me show you where this sensor lives. It's already got the big engine cover pulled. And right there is our secondary air pressure sensor. This side over here goes to the air pump. This side over here goes to the combination valve and it monitors pressure changes using this pressure sensor. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna back probe and get some voltage readings. Uh, first things first, uh, we'll just see what is on this signal wire. The fault that we had was short to plus. So I am expecting high voltage on this signal wire. Okay, so I'm back probed on the signal wire. I just want to show you where I'm at. My other lead is going to ground and I will keep you focused on the scope. Uh, let's see what kind of voltage reading we have on the signal wire. All right, so I'm back probed on the signal wire. Key's off right now. I'm gonna turn the key on. What we have 4.56 volts so that could be our problem right there it's voltage it's too hot four and a half volts on this signal wire I'm just gonna unplug this sensor I want to see if there's some type of voltage maybe a bias voltage from the computer well, I'm not sure I'm gonna just reach in and unplug it So 
So unplugged, no voltage. So that would tell us potentially it could be a bad sensor in this signal wire. Could be five volts from our five volt reference. Plug it back in. I'm going to move over, check my ground. Point zero 0.07 on the ground, I'm good with that. So there's no issue with my ground. I can move over for the 5 volt reference. And our 5 volt reference is okay. I'm just going to go back and check these codes. I had the sensor unplugged and my voltage went low. So technically the computer would see that and possibly throw a fault for a short to ground on the signal wire. That would tell me that we have a bad pressure sensor. So after unplugging the sensor, I have it plugged back in now. Our short to plus is current. We do now have a short to ground intermittent. I'm gonna unplug this sensor and we'll see if the short to plus goes intermittent and the short to ground is current. So the sensor's unplugged. Go back and check our codes again. Now our short to plus is intermittent and our short to ground is current. It's a current fault if it doesn't say intermittent right there. What we have is a faulty pressure sensor. Plug my sensor back in, go back to the scope. So, four and a half volts. You can see the change with our fault codes, see the change with our voltage, sensor plugged in and unplugged. I'll unplug it again. I'm still back the signal wire. So down to zero. So faulty pressure sensor. So here's our new one. Looks like an updated sensor. Has a little harness that's gonna plug into the engine harness, but it comes with the new hose and everything. Let's get this bad boy in. Okay guys, I got the new one in. Key's off right now. Uh, I am back probed on the signal wire. And I'm going to turn the key on, see what kind of voltage we have. I'm expecting not to see four and a half volts. Key's on. Hey, 2.8 volts. That looks good. Let's go back. Check our fault. So already our voltage is lower. Check these faults. We're hoping to see both of them intermittent. Still have short to ground fold. No 
know it's not short of the ground. No codes present. I'm going to unplug our sensor. Sensor's unplugged now. And our short to ground is back. We plug this sensor back in. Honestly, I'm not worried about this felt it's not going in the mid, at least this one. If it was short of the ground, this fault wouldn't clear. So no codes. I could probably create this fault, maybe, with a test light. Look at it. There's my bolts. Take my test light, connect to the ground, touch on that, pull it down. Go back and scan it again. And there's our short to ground again. Take my test light off. Voltage is back up. If I, uh, if I leave my test light connected to this, so if I leave my test light connected to this, I'm gonna try to clear this fault, and I bet you it won't clear. So the fault's present. Clear codes. Clear, completed, and we're packing codes again. And it's still there. So, I'm okay with that. This pressure sensor fixed it. There's no, no question about it. All right guys, so we had a faulty secondary air pressure sensor. Pretty simple. Signal wire was technically too high. We see, see on the known good, it's about 2.8 volts maybe. Um, that would be a known good. So if you connect to your signal wire and don't see 2.8 volts, if you see zero, it's shorted. And if you see four and a half, it's too high. So faulty pressure sensor. Um, pretty simple one. I hope you guys enjoy this video and thanks for watching.